Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be testing out on my 40 year old skin, 44 year old skin, Maybelline. And this is the 30 hour foundation. So let's give it a go. I don't know if I picked the right shade. I don't think I have. It's hard to pick online, it really is. Um, I picked 10, which is ivory. And I think it's gonna be a little bit light, but we'll just compensate for it with a bit of color. So I've got two pumps on the back of my hand and I've got approximately one pump on my hand here. And I'm just gonna use a brush for this. You know, I don't wanna use the same thing over and over again. So let's just see, what do you think? It's not actually that terrible. It's not that much off. It's probably, it's a little bit light, but we'll deal with it. So in terms of coverage, I mean, my definition of coverage may be different to yours, but I think this feels more like a medium coverage because I think that's quite a lot of coverage for approximately one pump. And there still is a lot of product on the back of my hand. So I definitely don't need two pumps. Absolutely not. Although I could use a little bit on that bloody pink patch on my bloody chin, forever on my chin. Let's have a look. That's not bad coverage. I've actually got the concealer, so I think we'll use that as well. So to me, this is more of a matte finish. Absolutely, it doesn't. It kind of went on quite dewy, but then it just sort of morphed into not. I think it is a tad light but not, it's not terrible, but it's just a little bit off. So I'm not gonna waste the rest. So I will put a little bit more of that. I think I probably used about a pump and a half to begin with. And we'll just buff that in. And we'll just do the rest on the nozzy. And then what I'm gonna do is just add the concealer up to 30 hours wear. I'm just gonna wear it for 30 hours. Do you know what I mean? The cut, I mean, it's a nice foundation. There's no doubt. It does look pretty good on the skin. Let me grab the concealer. Okie doke. So let's, ooh, let's try the concealer. It's got a bit of a whiff of alcohol in it. It may not, I haven't seen the ingredient list yet, but it does feel that there's a little whiff of it there. Just gonna pat that in on the outside corner with a dirty sponge. And then I'm just gonna go over the eyelid and pat in this section. The concealer is quite nice. I mean, for the price, this is pretty bloody good. It's definitely more on the drying side. The, no doubt, no doubt here. It does feel pretty dry. Let's add some color to the face so it doesn't look so ghastly. And then we can kind of decide, you know, where we go with it. I'm gonna actually use my sponge to start the blending. And then I'm gonna use the brush with whatever's left on it to further mold it into the skin. Loverly, and then I'll just use the brush because we haven't powdered this yet. So now it's just see how it can go from quite strong and there's no extra product on the brush. It looks so much better with a bit of color in the face, it really does. That isn't, I mean, for me, that is not enough color. So I'm just gonna add a touch more and we'll do the exact same thing again. I just, I'm a big fan of blush on the nose because it just resembles, you know, you've really been out in the sun, you've gone skiing. Not that I've ever gone skiing in my life, but you know, I don't fly, I don't go anywhere. I don't enjoy flying. I find it very frightening, so I don't go. And I don't feel I've missed out. People say, oh, don't you feel you've missed out? No, I don't. I don't feel that way at all. I wanna stay in the house, thanks. That's just the way I am. 
Okay, so with a bit of color on the skin, it really isn't that far off. I probably should have gone a shade up, but it's quite misleading. Sometimes you hear ivory, you think very, very pale, but then there's the Makeup Forever one that's in ivory, and that isn't very pale at all. But the finish is great. I don't actually, I'm gonna powder a little bit of it, but I don't think it's, it's gonna need a massive amount of powder. The long wearing foundations tend to have alcohol in, and they do tend to be more on the matte side, which this really is. I mean, it, it's definitely matte. But the finish is pretty, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good finish. And for the price, that's, that's quite spot on. What do you think? Do we, do we like you? I think that's really nice. It isn't undetectable like the um, Makeup Forever one is, but this still looks really, really good. I still think this looks like good, healthy skin. Yeah, that's really quite nice. Who knew? Bargain, absolute bargain. I'll leave the links, let me know in the description bar and the comment section, shall I say, what you think. That's really quite nice. That's really quite nice, really is. Thanks for watching, see you all soon, bye bye.